the fact that we're practicing is based on thoughts of goodwill. And it starts with goodwill for ourselves. We want a happiness that we can depend on, a happiness we can rely on. And we realize that the one person who's most responsible for destroying that happiness is ourselves, because of our carelessness. So we have to train the mind. It's like having a, an animal in your house. If the animal isn't trained, they can create a lot of messes, tear up things, ruin things. So even though you have a really nice house, the untrained animal can make it a very unnice house after a while. Well, the mind is the same sort of thing. You can have all the conditions for happiness outside, and the mind can still destroy them. To say nothing of times when the conditions outside are bad, you can make it even worse. But there is a possibility that if the mind is trained, you can make things better. At the very least, the mind doesn't have to weigh itself down. And it learns how not to carry the incidents of the world outside inside, where they can do a lot of damage. So we're here focused on our minds because of goodwill for ourselves. We also realize that if we have goodwill for ourselves, we want a happiness that lasts. And if our happiness depends on the suffering of other people, they're not going to let it last. They're going to do what they can to destroy it. So you have to think about their well-being, too. It's for this reason the Buddha teaches goodwill as an unlimited attitude, as our Norman normal human goodwill has its limitations. You have goodwill for this person, but not for that. It's because you like this person and don't like that person. And you may have good reasons for not liking the other person, but you can't let even your good reasoned liking or disliking get in the way of having goodwill for everybody. Because if you have ill will for somebody, you're going to do and say things that are going to come back at you. So again, goodwill for yourself means you have to have goodwill for others. Think about the consequences of your actions and make sure that you don't do anything harmful. So this is an attitude you want to cultivate every day. In the beginning, it's just a matter of thinking things through. And then after a while, you begin to develop a quality of sympathy that goes along with it. That turns it from just thoughts in the mind to something that feels more real, more palpable. But at the same time, you don't want the thoughts of the feeling of goodwill to get in the way of what's skillful. Otherwise, you don't want it to lead to attachment of an unhealthy sort. Just realizing everybody has their karma, they're responsible for their happiness, ultimately. And you don't want to do anything to get in the way of that particular desire on their part. So you want to develop a level-headed goodwill that's universal, but not sentimental, but something that really does motivate your actions as you go through the day. So when you're dealing with other people, no matter how difficult they are, you think about what what can I do that would help with this person's long-term welfare and happiness? And you suddenly find yourself thinking, well, that, the thing I wanted to say just now, maybe I shouldn't say it. Or the thing I wanted to do, maybe I shouldn't do it. This is why the Buddha equates goodwill with restraint. It helps hold things back that you otherwise would later regret. So all the practice ties together with goodwill. That's why the Buddha said, if you have ill will for somebody, it's a sign of wrong view. So it's not just wrong, wrong resolve, it's also wrong view. In a case like that, it's going to be hard for discernment to arise. Because the discernment we want is a discernment that is informed by goodwill. It keeps thinking about the consequences of our actions and then where we have to look to make sure that our actions are wise, i.e. look at the mind, make sure the mind is trained. 
That way the happiness we want will be there. And we won't be a traitor to our happiness, we won't be doing anything to destroy it. It'll be a happiness we can trust because we become people that we can trust. So it's good to think about these things as you train the mind every day.